Barbara, what are we talking about? We're today? talking about ways to improve your sex life, and we have a special guest. And when I say special guest, we have a special guest. Mm. Gertrude Mungai is here to is our guest, and is about to school us. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially these two, they I'm need so that lesson. That one needs an applause, <laughs> man. Gertrude Mungai is in the building, in the flesh. Uh, Gertrude Karibu Sana. Asante Sana. I'm giving uh, Gertrude a moment to settle in. You know, she's just landed the bodyguards outside. Uh, about is your bodyguard? Salama, salama. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need bodyguards. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, Eric, do you wanna do you, do you wanna break down our topic as you normally do? All right, let's go right ahead. So, as Barbara has earlier alluded, we are discussing understanding sex and ideas on ways to improve your sex life. So basically, what to do, man, the expert is in the house. Uh, good <coughs> sex comes from understanding how your body works. At least that's the ABC of it that I know. Everyone has different sex drives and likes different things when it comes to sex. So on today's show, we are joined by Gertrude Mungai, who is a lifestyle designer on sex and relationships, a mother, an author, a blogger and a TV and radio host, and a public speaker on all matters sex. Karibu sana, Gertrude. Asante sana. And uh, just without further ado, let me get this out of the way. You know, every Friday we have Sexy Friday. Oh. First of all, we have the adults in the room. Okay. It comprises of uh, four people. Mm -hmm. uh, the first person is uh, myself. Mm -hmm. My name is Eric Omondi. We have the Duchess of Ikolomani, Barbara Mbaka. <laughs> yes. And then uh, to my right is Emmanuel Kisiangani. Mm -hmm. uh, so we make up the adults in the room. And then there is the fourth person who sits right next to me. Mm -hmm. And it was Kilizaji. Mskilizaji. Yeah, that's, that's his name. Uh, yes. He or she? He is or she. Oh, it's normally... Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And and it's unisex. A, unisex. Unisex. And it's a blank chair for Mskilizaji. Yeah. So Mskilizaji sits here. Okay. So we, what we try to do, especially on Fridays, mm -hmm. is to make sense of all things sex. All right. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we are known for and we try to espouse is mm -hmm. to have authentic conversation, unedited. Mm -hmm. We call it Simon Pure. So Atuna edits. So I'll start mm -hmm. by asking you a question. But today yes, is a special please. day, so it's Thursday. <laughs> That's why we want <laughs> to get about sex on Thursday. Yes, yes. Okay. yes. So yes, yeah, so uh, so one of the questions that most uh, men grapple with mm -hmm. is uh, the length of time in the sack or bed. All okay. right. Is this important to women that a guy lasts too long, and how? Can men last longer if it's an important ask from their significant other? Because a lot of ladies who've called us and even written to us on Fridays mm -hmm. say that to mengine, no sooner do you start, does he finish? Alafa na itaji ata kupepetu wa skutatu. Kabla amke. Nguvu yake inaisha. Nguvu yake inaisha kabisa. Unajua beti unaingiza charger na hata ifanyi. Do you remember those questions in high school for use no sooner that. No sooner do they start, they finish. Yes. So 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 my question to you, especially because I know you've dealt with a lot of, and I have to tell you, one time I was walking in town and I happened upon one of your shops. I didn't even know it was your shop. Oh. I was talking to a lady there, and she said, Hey, kwa Gertrude. Mm -hmm. And there were men who would come to your shop of course. to seek treatment from ED. Mm. Yes. yes, and they were very happy. One man came back and said, Ile lifanya kabisa. Eric, what were you doing there? <laughs> no, I was actually with a friend of <laughs> we'll mine. We started to check out things for the neighbor. You know, <laughs> yes. No, no, I was actually, yeah, for the friend. No, I was actually with a friend of mine no, called Shiko. Authentic. Shiko, lives, authentic conversations. Shiko lives all the way in Nakuru. So mm -hmm. Shiko comes and tells me, Take me to some shop in uh, town mm -hmm. uh, near um, Madame Flannery Network, Gertrude. Mm -hmm. This is about a year ago. So I'm like, Okay, let's go. You didn't, you had not clicked. I had not clicked. So we get there and I find one of your ladies mm -hmm. and she's serving customers very happily and i see her like three guys yes so they see us and they become a bit uh, jittery and then shiko explains and says it's for sex stuff so that's why guys are looking like this mm -hmm. so the like, eh! mm -hmm. so that guy asked for another dose of whatever he had been given i'm and sure it was chai infalme it's ah. only, yes mm. it's a tea emmanuel do you want chai infalme chai 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 infalme okay don't so, google just no i'm writing i'm, I'm writing on my oh, Anika, no, yeah. so, so let's, let's go back to the question yes so is it important for women mm -hmm. that a guy lasts so long that's why we are not what is mm. so long because you see, they as a accuse man, me of maybe saying as, as a man, mm -hmm. uh, the, the lingua, mm -hmm. especially in public places, pubs. In fact, there's a place in Hallingham where after you eat fish, they tell you, Ikitu itafanya udumu kabisa. So they give you some fake njugu juice. 
Oh. And guys drink it in like copy or not. Check is one yake tatu zingine ni bebe baridi. <laughs> so and they say they think in their minds that wakipeleka kwa nyumba wanyonye hiyo juice uh-huh. atajituma what, uh, what kabisa. Yes. Yes. Yeah, actually I've get I've gotten uh, so many of those kind of questions. What yes. should I eat? Yes. What can I do to help me last longer? Yes. Mm. It's not one. You know if it's to, if we talk about njugu then you can't sit on a bucket of njugu and expect everything to Kama live. Like yes. ya mami kula Amekula njugu na anakula njugu. <laughs> In fact he has been doing that an hour before. Kuguza njugu kidogo. You just need um you need um a handful of nuts whichever nuts mm-hmm. you know then you have to eat balanced diet, plenty of exercise, plenty of rest, a lot of water, a combination of things. It's not just one. You thing. just need to be healthy. Mm-hmm. Yes. What's good for your heart is good for your Mombasa raha. Right. You guys are talking about I'm used to using code names. Yeah. So yes, yes, allow yes. me to do that. No, yes. no, so when are, I talk yes. about Mombasa raha is sex. When I talk yes. about Mr. Victor is what those guys have between their legs. Oh. When I talk about Miss Victoria it's what we have. Oh. You know, so So Mr. Victor, Miss v- v- Victoria yeah. equals Mombasa raha. Equal Mombasa raha. Oh. Yes. Oh. Muskilizaji <laughs> hope you've gotten that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so about lasting long, mm. different women like different things. Mm. So the only way I can explain this is to say, uh, women we love having different forms of sex, mm. depending, mm. you know, on mm. what we are doing, what we have to do in the morning, how much time we have, and that's the best way to actually enjoy your Mombasa Raha life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have to learn how to have sex, you have mm. to learn how to make love, and you have to learn how to play it. So when you're not doing one, you're busy doing the other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the trick is, the minute you start, you should know which one you're having from the get-go. Mm-hmm. Yes. So you don't mix things up. Because mm-hmm. I, I, I'm married, mm-hmm. and I know one of you is married. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The um, one who eats njugu. What are you missing? <laughs> Why is it? Tunangoja neema ya bwana. In fact, kama uko na People are not meeting the standards get to the point where we are. In 2020, tuna mchango. Things have to change. Things yeah. have to change. Yeah. 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 So, you need to know from the get go yeah. which one am I having? Mm. So, to have sex is Uh, most married women just do it for the husbands. Yes. You know, they're not in the mood. They're not mad. There's nothing happening. But you can't... They've you not know, been seduced. Not even about seducing. You're mm. not in the mood. You just don't feel like... Mm-hmm. No matter what he does this particular day, you know it's not going to work. So if you know your dude very well, you can matter his favorite position. And in two minutes, you're done. You're okay mm. with the two minutes. You've sorted yeah. him out. Yes. So is the two minutes for you or for him? For you. For No, no, no. no. For or you. For you don't want him to last long. Mm. All right. Okay, that's yes. what I'm saying. Okay, that's true. Uh, that's why I asked at the beginning how long is long. Mm. Different times I like it differently, mm. you okay. know? So when I'm just having sex, it's mm. just two, three minutes, it's done. But then you you need to know your man very well. Mm. You know what turns him on so you can go for the kill. And then this playing it, that's when you want it to last for hours. Yes. You start with one position by the time you're done, you've done five positions. Eh, mbaka ameanza kulalamika, hebu usihamishe hamishe, weka bahala pamoja, those ones. Mm-hmm. So you want him to last so long, you know? Mm-hmm. And the making love one is the the one you do with all your feelings. It doesn't need any hula balu. You don't need to wear special shoes. Mm-hmm. You just connect it and you do it. Mm-hmm. So different times require different things, different times. So meaning this power mm-hmm. before Barbara you ask uh, this power of uh, staying for long mm-hmm. um, is, is it mainly then on the lady because no. sometimes even uh, cooperating sometimes <laughs> they don't cooperate <laughs> 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 stop and uh, stop Uh, Sasa unajipata umefika Nairobi kutoka Mombasa. Nani has stop mwanamke? So una so you're trying to you know do what Eric was saying. You're mm-hmm. trying to be that man who lasts long. Sindio? Lakini sasa huyu unamwambia huyu. This person does not receive the instruction. So you can say, "Hey, stop, stop, stop." Lakini yeye ana hapo sasa ndio ana kanya. Yes. Ana pepeta Victor. Do you think my, that power is more on the lady in terms of uh, the lasting of this event? Both men and women. It's both men and women. You see, um if the man is about to finish, uh, no matter what you do, he will finish. Mm. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, finishing for the woman is a different story. If you're talking about the big O. Yes. Okay? And women are known to fake it. There are those ones who fake it until they make it. There are those mm. ones who just fake it every mm. single time. They've never come. They just fake it. Mm-hmm. So it will depend. And because some men take so long and they keep asking the woman if you finish mm. and uh, she knows 
as long as she says no, you're still going to hold it and she's done, she will fake a big one. Mm. Okay? Yes. So it depends. Because when a man finishes, it's over. Until, depending on what kind of a guy he is, his state of health, if he's old, if he's on medication, there's like a phase, like a stage which is called uh, refractory. Mm -hmm. Refractory is the time it takes a man from ejaculating to getting another erection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? So some men can't do two rounds. Other men can. Mm -hmm. Two rounds after two weeks. Masking. So it will be. And there are others <laughs> in just Sasarich. two minutes, they are good to go. Erica now, this Ol refractory, mm. you know, this refractory, it also varies from one man to another. Their age. Mm hmm. Uh, their state of health, like I said, and more so, when was the last time they went to Mombasa Raha? Mm. If oh. it was like two months ago, then some men hardly lose their erection. Oh, they are yes. ready to go. Yes. But if it was like, uh, this is morning and uh, they had, uh, they went to Mombasa Raha last night, it takes a little bit of time. Mm. So, I always tell women, every woman needs to know their man's refractory phase. That's mm. how you pass mm -hmm. them. Yes. I mean, it's been two weeks. We've not gone to Mombasa. What do you mean you can't get it up? Yeah, mm. And do they also yeah. need to know our refractory face? Because they do, they do a lousy job. <laughs> Women, we, we, we don't have refractory. Mm -hmm. We have what is called resolution. So there are like four phases. The men go up to the fifth one. The first phase is called Excitement, that's the foreplay stage. You do foreplay and many women, they require about 20 minutes before they can Please climax. repeat that part for a gentleman on my left. I just don't <laughs> say that. We require how many minutes? More than 20 minutes. Emmanuel, you see? I'm a kick now. I'm a swing. Not seven minutes. <laughs> okay. So there's the excitement stage, which is basically uh, foreplay. And then there's the plateau of fully arousal, which is the penetrative stage. If the foreplay has been done very well, penetration, then the woman is definitely going to climax. The third stage is called the orgasmic stage. Now, immediately after the orgasmic stage, we go to resolution. <laughs> Both men and women. Because mm -hmm. when you get an orgasm, you're on the high. Mm -hmm. Your eyes are sticking out. Your skin is flashed. You know, you're breathing heavily. Some it's people like are roaring like lions. Uh -huh. It's like you've run a marathon. Mm -hmm. So what happens? You need time to cool off. Now, the cooling off is the resolution. When mm -hmm. women cool off, they can go back to stage one, two, three. That's why we can get multiple orgasms. Oh, yeah. We don't have refractory. But mm -hmm. men, after they've cooled off, they go through refractory. They need to rest. They need to rest to build it up. So they can go another round. Mm. Yes. Eric, is she there? I need two weeks. I'm going to fall off. No, you can't be. Can't. I love to be. The single ones hardly have the two weeks because they don't have regular sex mm -hmm. or regular mumbasarha. But the married ones, because uh, you could have it every day if you want. Mm. The more you have it, the longer. Your yeah, he was using me yes, as, uh, as a conduit. <laughs> but it's, it's his problem. <laughs> we usually In understand. In fact, he said that he was going to get to the end of the mind. He was going to play for two months, three months. <laughs> 60 to 90 days, and he was going to get to the end of <laughs> Barbara, I know you have a question you're going to ask, uh, yes. but we're just uh, going to let our guest just relax. Mm -hmm. You know, she just, um, you know, takes a moment as we enjoy some Joe. We have a special guest today, Gertrude um, Guy, who's here live in the studio. Yani akwapa. Yani akwapa. We're not Skyping. Nakwapia akwapa in the flesh na muona na naeza mguza. But meanwhile, we're going to listen to Joe. If I was your man, Joe is one of those artists I love, man. And I saw him in the Soul Train Awards. He was just looking fresh. As these brothers do, we'll be back. He cuts his hair like Eric number one. Yes, number one. Uni jamawa number one. Napia kama ya nani? DP. Those jams which you cannot interrupt, man. If you interrupt this one, you're gonna get a flurry of tweets. Wewe unafanya nini? Who you ni nani ya makeup? Wewe wacha joa maliza. You get so that when you just let it just get finished. 18 minutes uh, past eight o'clock. We are the adults in the room. I'm in studio with your favorite people, Eric, Barbara, with myself, Emmanuel, and we have a special guest in the building. Uh, Barbara, you want to introduce our guest once again? Today we have a guest, and as Emmanuel said, we have a special guest. She's called Gertrude Mugai. 
and we are talking about ways to improve your sex life. Mm-hmm. So I'll ask a question about ways of improving our uh, sex life. Oh, Barbara, sorry. before you ask the question, yes. uh, Eric, do you want to read some tweets? Oh. Yes, absolutely. And you want to put my mic on. A very good evening to you and thank you for choosing 94.4 Spice FM. Remember, remember, we are the first radio to come alive in a visual format. You want to be part of that big party by simply going on your PC or phone on www.spicefm.co.ke. Another quick reminder is that we are on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. The handle is at SpiceFMKE. And we welcome all of your thoughts and feedback about the conversation we are having today. We have a wonderful guest, uh, Gertrude Mugai, and we are speaking about understanding sex and ideas on ways to improve your sex life. Tweets are coming in their numbers. I see you, Ariza Balaga. It says, Ongata Rongai is checked in, tuned in from Nairobi. Uh, Naini Dama says, I'm ready to learn. Thank you so much. And the wise man says, sexy Thursday, I cannot wait. A very good evening to you and back to you, Baba. What are you hearing on Facebook? On Facebook, we have Matthew Lesage from Nakuru says he's locked. Mustard Seed from Nyeri says he's happy to see you. He, she, he used to listen to your shows. We have Peter from Eldoret. We have Paula Steven from Mua. Oh, you, there are so many. We have Eric Ochicha, Geoffrey, Gideo, Augustine, I see you all. Thank you. As Erica said, plug into all our so- uh, social media, forgive me, social media handles that is Spice FM KE on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you have a question, plug it in there and we shall read it and get through it. We'll also be able to answer it. Also, at the top of the hour, after this hour, we shall be picking your calls. Mm-hmm. Barbara, go ahead. I had a question. Since today we're talking about ways of improving our sex life, mm-hmm. get rid. Mm-hmm. How would you advise uh, a couple? Because this is we know not only not everyone who's having sex is uh, is married. Mm-hmm. People are in long term relationships. Some are just trying it out. What ideas would you give us to spice it up, to make things work? Because <laughs> majority of Kenyans mm-hmm. are very traditional. I stand corrected, mm-hmm. but we're very traditional in how we handle our bedroom intimate matters, and especially when we get to Mombasa Raha. Okay, so hmm, spicing up, that is so wide. Okay, uh, first of all, you in order for you to spice, not just spicing it up, sustaining it. Because yes. I'm speaking from a marriage, um, a married woman's point of view. You can't just spice it for a week and then you go back. Mm-hmm. So you need to be able to spice it and sustain, you know, sustain it. it. Yes. Now, for my kind of spicing up will be different from the women who are going out, mm-hmm. okay, or are dating. Yes. The ones who are supposed to be chilling like this, but they're chilling. Chilling like this. this. Okay. So you'll give us both <laughs> angles <laughs> for the children and, and children. Yes. Now, for the married ones, let me start with the married ones because it's easy. I've been in that institution for years. How long have you uh, been married? Whoa. Uh, a couple of months ago, I celebrated my 21st anniversary. Congratulations. Marriage. I have a young adult. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. So uh, for, for married women, um, you, you've got to know yourself very well. You've got to know your partner inside out. Okay, and on top of that, like I said at the beginning, you have to teach yourself to have the three forms of sex. Yes. The mombasa ra. So it when is. you're not doing one, like I said, you're Do busy it. doing the other. Yes. Okay. So let me break it down. <clears throat> like when you're just um, doing it, you know, you're just having sex. Um, we always assume every time uh, you need to feel the urge. You need to be really, really hot and running for you to have it. You need to love. And to make love with every piece of your body. Yes. You understand? Yes. Most Kenyans couple, they they always focus on intercourse or penetrative mombasaraha. Yes. Okay? You need to try the other way. Like sensuality. And it's more of like a tantric version of lovemaking. Mm -hmm. You make love without penetration. That's one of the best ways. Are you able to explain that? I know. <laughs> <laughs> you should see the guys are like, what? Is it even sex? <laughs> it is. Because when we start concentrating on intercourse or penetration, we are defining sex to male standards. Okay. You understand? Yes. Women can enjoy and reach the big O without penetrative yes. mombasaraha. That's true. I hope it's the right time to start going a little bit deeper. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yes, somebody is complaining on my Facebook that uh, kids are not not sleeping. Why are they listening at Spice FM? This is adults in the room. Exactly. I'm Mm. right at home, people. You keep complaining. But today I'm right (laughs) at home. (laughs) I'm in the adults' room, so nobody should complain. Uh Anywho, so spicing up, you've got to understand. You know, like, first of all, many times our partners or our husbands or our lovers have no idea how to touch us as naked women. 
True. Wamekamua ngombe maziwa, wame kick, you know. Mm -hmm. There's nothing sexy and sensual about that. Mm -hmm. So they need to know. Or we need to teach, to teach them. Yes. Now, you can't teach him if you don't know yourself. Okay. You need to teach your partner how to touch you. As so I need to know woman. myself, you then I can teach yourself. my partner. Exactly. Okay. So what turns you on? Are you a dashboard kind of a person? Dashboard is the... The chest area. Exactly. Are you a supporting document kind of a person? Yes. You know, it's a support. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Your posterior. <laughs> Are you a kissing kind? You see, everybody assume everybody enjoys and loves kissing. Mm. I don't. Mm -hmm. oh. You know? Yes. I stopped I stopped enjoying kissing from uh, when I was pregnant with my first child. Okay. I used to spit like a snake. I lost the sensation, so you can imagine. <laughs> I spat even after giving birth. I was still spitting and nausea. Mm -hmm. So I lost the sensation. It comes back sometimes, but I've decided to concentrate on other things. But that has forced me to learn a lot more about my body. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, because yes. you know, if you remove kissing, what do then you have what? left? Yes. Exactly. A lot. Mm -hmm. You know, touching in a sensual way and especially um, using massage oil. And not oh. just massage oil, hot massage oil. Oh, okay. It works very well. So that's accessorized. If I'm to bullets to list them down, first of all, you accessorize. Please don't be afraid to bring things into your bedroom to help you spice it up. Okay. And it can vary from lingerie, you dress up. You know, <laughs> you can dress up for it if your guy is visual or you can just use the oils, you can use lubricants, you can use so many other things to spice it up. Yes. But the bottom line is you need to know how to have the three forms of sex. Yes. So if you're not doing this, the you next do, time you're doing you a different do. one, it's spiced because you've not done it in a while, you know. And then different location and different uh, positions. Oh, yeah. Let's not start with one position and finish with the same. January ordinarily, to December. Yeah. Ordinarily, every session, you should start with one position and finish with a fifth one. It's mm. important. Yes. See your moja on Amaliza. Okay. And then location. Try different places, stairs, mm -hmm. behind his mother's house, Kamata bonnet, hey, his mother's on house. top of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> See, people just came from holiday. People went to visit their mother-in-laws. Yes. Some people are not uh, having it. Kum it's yes. just because we are visiting. Mm -hmm. Be innovative, mm -hmm. you know? So, different location, different positions, and then talking, and include games, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Couples don't play a lot of games. You know, like wrestling when you're butt naked, all oiled up, you know. Let's all see who life. wins. <laughs> <laughs> Some get angry when you start playing a game. Uh, then the, the, the underlying timing, problems. Like maybe timing of the game? Time, I mean, you see, it's called lovemaking, you know. This is not a serious thing. It, just look at the attire. What do you, how do you dress up when you go to do this kind of things? Mm -hmm. So everything, in fact, women love games. The laughing. And then when you're coming, how do you even ask for it? Mm -hmm. We like it when yes. our men are a little bit playful. Mm -hmm. So they need to easen up. They do. They have to. You know, Gertrude, uh, just I think Takriban about four weeks ago, we had a very heated three-hour debate mm -hmm. about whether or not size matters. Does size matter? <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, does size matter? Yeah. Can I say yes and no? You know, when it comes to this kind of thing, it's never black and white. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, sometimes, uh, I, I, but then, you're lucky that day you came to my shop, you didn't meet somebody who came to look for something for enlargement. Mm. You also People sell that? Come to, no, I don't sell. Uh -huh. There's nothing which can enlarge. Mm. Okay? So, to so answer So, those posters that, are Niwongo. Niwongo Mtupu. Dr. Mashuhuri, you know? Uh, by uh -huh. the time a guy is 22 years old, mm. he is stuck with whatever he is, he has for the rest of his life. <laughs> He's not going to grow any longer, any bigger, any fatter, or any... Okay? But can uh, I I'm give sorry, an explanation? I'm laughing, guys. <laughs> can I give an explanation why I said yes and no? Mm -hmm. Uh... There are different kind of Mr. Victors. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay? And when, you, we, when you're talking about size, you need to measure when somebody has a full erection. You cannot look at somebody who is not excited or is not aroused and decide this is the size. No. There are some... There, okay, you are either a grower, a riser, or a micro penis. A micro penis is the guys who have a teeny tiny one. Like it's incapable thick. of penetration. Yes. Okay? You, no. le, you don't even have to say a chore. It's out. It's mm. not going anywhere. That's, so that's called, him. Mm. Yeah, that's a micropenis. Yes. It's a medical condition. Yes. Okay. Mm. And then you have um, 
sweet banana. That's how mm-hmm. I describe them. Sweet mm-hmm. banana is somebody who's on the lower side. Mm-hmm. They are capable of penetration. They can pleasure the woman, but uh, they're on the smaller side. Mm-hmm. Okay? And uh, they can still get the woman, uh, I mean, they can still get their spouses pregnant. And then we have the normal. Okay? Mm-hmm. Micro penis is below two inches. Mr. I mean, sweet banana mm-hmm. small is three inches to <clears throat> slightly less than four inches. Mm-hmm. And then we have normal or standard, which is four inches to about five inches. And then we have Mr. Big, which is six inches and above. Mm-hmm. Mm. 94.4 Spice FM, I hope you are there with your notebook. I'm writing notes and my capad is almost dying already. I have to open a new page. I'm sure you guys <laughs> are enjoying this conversation. We're here live with Gertrude Mungai and we're going to be together all the way till 10 o'clock. Um, we are here live with Gertrude Mungai and Eric You'd ask the question just for someone who's just joined us. Yes. And then uh, Gertrude will, uh, you know, we'll just take us back. continuing to answer. Yes. So, uh, uh, good evening to you. We have Gertrude Mungai. You know, Gertrude, I'm very <laughs> excited. I was trying to be in a very uh, intense relationship once with this lady. Mm. And she used to love watching your show. Oh. When you're on TV at, uh, late in the night. You remember those yes, days? Yes, yes, yes. And uh, that's when I came to learn about you. Mm-hmm. And I must say, I, amongst the thousands of people on those streams, mm-hmm. I think I score having watched maybe a hundred times of most videos. So uh, that is where you, you learn uh, a few things. Zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> zoom. <laughs> I was excited because at least you watch about a hundred of the clips. I watch hands People hands watch hands only two, the ones with positions. Really? Yeah. And there's, there's over 200. But you know that shows. he had a woman in his life who was watching, so by default. And then Valentine Jorog is a good friend of mine. Uh-huh. So I remember you guys doing the show. Yes. Uh, if you're joining us, Karibu Sana, we are discussing understanding sex and ideas on ways to improve your sexual life mm-hmm. and just before going on the break i asked gertrude uh, whether or not size does matter and she was in the midst of explaining the different sizes yes, yes. Uh, you are saying sweet banana you see micro 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 Average, and sweet Mr. Big, wow. yes, and, and we have the sweet banana is a um, small, yeah. yes, small. okay. And then uh, I also have a fourth one, which is called Ben Boy. There are some which are bent. Oh yeah, you know, bent to the left, bent to the right, but they are not straight. When you look at it, it's not straight. It's bent. What yeah, happened to them? We call them uh, bend it like Beckham. They were born like that. <laughs> they were born like that. And mm. I, when I talk about Ben Boy, I'm not talking about a condition called the pyrone. The oh. pyrone is an illness. Yes. You know, mm. more tissue is deposited on the other side, and the guy is in pain. Mm. I'm just talking about just a bend. You know, just like the way you have people with a bit of a limb, they're not really sick. They can't do everything. So to me, that's how I categorize them. Mm. Okay. Now. Now, when you tell me small, how small is small? Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Now, the thing is, you need to use tricks and techniques. Whatever it is you have, learn how to use it. If you have a sweet banana, like I said, it can fully pleasure you. to the ma- Even make you speak in your mother tongue. Yes. If you know how to position yourself. So as a man, you need to learn to use your... M- Both men and women. Okay. You know? Both- it is his gadget. You see, that's the thing. When it comes to lovemaking, everybody participate. Ulali tu wapo nwe kifocha mende. Okay. Exactly. So, if you have, uh, if you're on the ho- higher or the smaller side, there are positions which are suited for that. Mm-hmm. If you're on the bigger side, there are positions which are suited for that. Mm-hmm. So, I can't sit here and say the bigger the better. In fact, in my research, uh, men with bigger Mr. Victors mm-hmm. make very lousy lovers because they are too confident, too confident. Oh. Yes. You understand? Mm-hmm. Yes. So, they just lie there. Yes. Mm. They think they are a gift from exactly. God. Exactly. So, <coughs> they don't move it, you know. Just like the way we say women have Kifucha Mende, I'm a, uh, those boring position, men too. You know, so, so you're saying we don't need to feel confident. You, I, I'm not. I said you <laughs> should be confident. Until we do not. Until we. Oh Lord! I pretended. Anywho, it's okay to be confident, but you lying there doesn't make you a good lover. True. You have to move it, just like the way women are supposed to be shakers. You shake it in a circular motion. Men should not pump. They should thump. All right. You know, but most pump. men ruka ruka like chura Thrust, chura. Yes. Mm. 
pump they should don't pump, they should not thump. Pump. pump you know go up and down yes, up but and they down. should thump oh. mm. yes mm. That so is very that's the difference so it doesn't matter what size mm. you are mm. just make use of it uh, get you have a question about uh, just the way you said uh, you, you don't like kissing um, okay, I don't know if this is even Gosh, re- this related. Is, this is going to haunt me. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know if it's if the, my question is even yes. related to that. Yes. Um, wh- what do you think of uh, qualitative uh, sex, qualitative Mombasa Raha mm-hmm. uh, versus uh, quantitative? <laughs> so, mm-hmm. uh, this is the scenario. Mm-hmm. Uh, every week, I'm at a year two weeks in your December. Mimi, I give myself mm-hmm. my all. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Sasa, I, I'll, I'll just maybe give you that two-week break because mm-hmm. maybe that's my preference. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, what, what did you think, uh, what, what did you say about qualitative versus quantitative? So every day, but I'm Nikutuko I'm, Mombasara, I'm, but I'm not giving you quality. Mm-hmm. But now me, I give you quality, but Sasa, we spread it. Over some okay, time. Uh, so um, by the time you have a couple, one is complaining they're not having enough. The other one is complaining uh, this girl wants too much. You fall under ca- the category called mismatch couples. Okay, mm. when that's your mismatch libido wise. Because every time I use the word mismatch, people think like, oh, he has a big one, she has a small one. It doesn't work that way. Mismatch libido is when he wants a lot, she wants little. Mm. When you talk about quantity versus quality, I'll rather go for quality that quantity. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But then different couples are in different spaces. Okay? Married over 20 years. To me, it's not about chasing the orgasm, the Mm -hmm. big O. It's not about that. It's quality. I'd rather have it once in a week, but we map up the whole room, Mm -hmm. you know, and we want it to last for a a whole hour than have it every single day for two minutes. True. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So different couples are in different... Like, if people are on holiday, like I'm preparing to take guys on a romantic retreat on Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. Now, when you go away for a romantic getaway, trust me, you want to maximize. In fact, I normally teach couples to go on a sex marathon. Mm. You are in that space. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to name names, but I know that people do not manage who so are So you are in table. that space. But when you are at home, you know, in your usual uh, surroundings, uh, you don't want to just have it for the sake of having it. So if you find yourself in that kind of a situation, I would suggest you sign a sex contract or a Mobasara contract. Mm-hmm. Mm. Explain, you know, just like a contract, like mm-hmm. any other. Okay. Yes. Uh, the lady comes up with her if demands or suggestions mm-hmm. or requests and the guy does the same and then you decide to have one common document. Now, if you find, like he says, he wants it every single day. You're thinking, every single day, I'm not going to enjoy it. I'll just be doing it for the sake of. Mm-hmm. Why not every other day? Try that. If it doesn't work, you should always Come be to willing a to review. Mm-hmm. Yes. Compromise and then review. Mm-hmm. Every time you should be able to review. Otherwise, uh, a good uh, relationship is not where one person is pushing their agenda, mm-hmm. especially sex. Dani Mombasara, mm-hmm. Others, the other person who feel like they're being used. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So talk about it. Or even this uh, sex holiday I'm talking about, you can take a whole week, we do what the guy wants. And then next week, what the chick wants. And then somewhere at the middle, you will be able to balance. Mm. Yeah. It's never black and white. So, guys, uh, you, you realize I don't say yes or no. Because yes. I, I, I've done this for over close to 14 years now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I have been in this, uh, in a relationship for a very long time. Mm-hmm. Nothing is ever black and white. Maybe this season you realize, whoa, okay, we've done it every single day. There are people who swear they can have, they can go to Mombasara every single day. I think they're lying. And yes. if they are, then it's the quickest, you know, the two minutes because you still have. But if you sit and settle for a session of love making, which takes over an hour, no one can do that every single day. You know, True. Gertrude, uh, sorry, Barbara, I know it's your turn, it's, it's but okay. something uh, hit my mind. I've proposed on this show that uh, an idea I have of mine mm-hmm. that uh, could it be that couples who would employ uh, a sexual sabbatical mm-hmm. 
would have a more enjoyable sex in the state mm -hmm. of having every so regular sex, mm -hmm. all right? Because I feel like, uh, you know, the proverbial distance causes the heart to grow fonder mm -hmm. and the familiarity causes contempt mm -hmm. so that uh, we can agree with my significant other. Mm -hmm. uh, every January mm -hmm. and February, mm -hmm. we stay away from sex. Mm -hmm. So we build the urge. Mm -hmm. And then come March, mm -hmm. I swear... I will pound you like I am. <laughs> Isn't that... Uh that's a problem. That's, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yes. I, I give it in a different way. I yes. call it the sex holiday. Mm -hmm. All right. You know? Yeah. But then for you to do that, you need to, to, to talk to your partner. Expectation or reciprocation? Yes. What should they expect? How are they supposed to reciprocate? Mm -hmm. You know? And then, well, I've never heard of anybody taking a holiday for two months. But I've recommended so many couples for at least a month. You know? For what reason? Sometimes you get bored. No matter what you do, it's just not working. Mm. You know, it has plateaued mm. or taken a dive. Mm. So our bodies are good enough to awaken that feeling. Mm. All you need to do is give it a break. You know, it's like a detox. Sometimes they call it a Mombasaraha mm. detox. Yes. Give, it, give your body a break and mm. then start easing back to it. You know, like start remembering or reminiscing the kind of things you guys mm. used to do. Mm. Well, for me, it would be kissing. We used to kiss a lot before the babies came. Maybe we can try that. A couple stopped taking showers together anymore. Maybe you can try that. And then, like I said, say, I'm big on sensuality. Mm. Use your hands. See how you can do it. Make love with your nose, with mm. your mouth, with your ears. Pole, pole. By the time you go back to penetration, everything will be sorted. So it's mm. one and the same thing, oh. just done differently. Mm. I have a question about keggling. And I learned the other day that from the gentleman that also men keggle. I mm. used to think it was more of like a ladies thing. Mm -hmm. I learned from the men that What are your thoughts on... Uh, <laughs> I learned... Do you keggle? No, I... <laughs> one of us had a fact, a fun fact. Oh. Yes. And you mentioned, and you said both men. And I was very that curious. Very mm -hmm. Yes, so because in, in, my, in my mind... Emmanuel uh, opened his eyes. Yes, in my mind, I've always <laughs> known... The keggling is more for, for women. For women. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I just learned that uh, when we're just talking through the show, mm -hmm. when one of them said a fact mm -hmm. that men were included. And I was like, after the show, I went and Googled and all that. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts about both couples trying it together? Okay, they don't really to improve have, our yes our Mombasaraha. To improve the Mombasaraha, actually, I've been teaching kegel exercises or the pelvic floor exercises to men. Oh, for years. Oh, well, there's a class for men. No, no, but they, as in it, men can actually do it. Men can do it. Mm -hmm. Men can do it, and I've done so many videos on how men can do it. We do them differently because we the muscle is still the same, but the way we identify it is mm -hmm. different from the men. Uh, for women, I teach them to use the Benoit balls, the Duoton balls, the Geisha balls. Oh, this is what is on the table. Yes. Okay. But for men, they're supposed to use a hot towel. You know, first towel, fold it twice to create like a string kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. You know, warm it. And then you stand, put it across Mr. Victor and try to lift it up. It's like you're lifting a weight. Oh. And they are so effective. Okay. Very, very effective. They help men uh, last longer. They become So that's face hard. towel. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, you do exercises with the face towel. Okay. Okay. How can I... Uh, is there a way I can demonstrate that? I knew I should have come with more gadgets. Mm. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll give you time just after 9.30 to do, ne uh, to do the demonstrations. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But they work. You're mm -hmm. right. They work for both men and women, even better for the men. Mm -hmm. mm. All righty, Eric. Uh, look now. Emmanuel before getting married tulikuwa na challenge kubwa sana because I was in the Emmanuel alikuwa box ya bibi ya bibi unajua bibi ya mtoto na towel anazitumia peke yake na lotion so we want to ask I'm to ask I'm afraid to ask so Emmanuel is using that Stuff, no, no, no. Is Unajua, that healthy in a relationship <laughs> for <laughs> someone? <laughs> Just go asking for <laughs> so so I, I guess, I'm asking <laughs> for my friend. Is the baby supposed to be for the wife while he's kissing her? Uh, no, no, need baby. Those were his props. Now, no, no, Emmanuel, Eric, Eric stop those. Gertrude, <laughs> Emmanuel yes. actually kwa na funga kate na natuma watchman na angalie kuskwe na mgeni. Ne akwe tu peke yake kwa nyumbi. But now for those people who yeah. are like, healthy, Emmanuel Usijali, I, I, I got you. Yeah, have you got, yeah, man. So someone like, I someone with Emmanuel's problem, yeah. is that problem. healthy? <laughs> 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 someone like, alikuwa <laughs> 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 
I say I'm a change. So but okay. Okay. For just asking if someone had an issue or like that. No, is I'm it healthy in a relationship? You know, you guys haven't explained to me what was the bib for. What are, what are uh, the people who for? use? Uh, Alikuwa na jitumi kia. Ala jitumi kia peke yake. Mm. Ana jipigi angoma. Yeah. Eh, <laughs> bas. Ana jipigi angoma. So <laughs> men who do that. On, the, on is it healthy for the relationship? Oh, oh my goodness. Wana nyonga. I didn't know how to maneuver so that was getting the question. Okay. okay. 94.4 Spice FM. I'm sure you you can you can hear that we are enjoying the conversation. I hope you are too wherever you are. Remember we were with Getchud for uh now we have you for 1 hour 45 minutes can you imagine that 1 hour 45 minutes this lady is going to be here mm -hmm. and this is actually an honor man i hope you're enjoying the show please uh contribute with the hashtag adults in the room we'll be back with more conversation this song i don't know man i don't know if brand evusa had some leakage because they just scheduled this song so perfectly mariah carey touch my body we're talking about uh, bodies today, man. Babro, miss your body. Touch my body, but not you. See body, body. Miss your body. <laughs> All righty. Uh, Ninety-four point four Spice FM. Um, yes, uh, there's, there's something I'm hearing. Um, our phones. Uh, is it my phone? Let me put it on uh, silent. If it's not my phone, I don't think. Uh, yes. So silent, Barbara. Phones on silent. It's, it's we are all it's on flight mode. Yes, yes, Barbara. <laughs> I was just uh, shouting it out there. Uh, Ninety-four point four Spice FM. Eleven minutes to nine o'clock. We are the adults in the room. We're having fun right here in the studio. We have a special guest, Gertrude Mungai. Karibu sana. We, Asante sana. Like you've just gelled with us, Nikama. <laughs> Like She's part of the I'm having a threesome, people. I'm having you know? a yeah. foursome. <laughs> 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 so, Barbara, before we went to the break, you'd asked a question. You want to just uh, put the whoever's listening up to speed? Yes, today we are discussing ways to improve your sex life. And our special guest is Gertrude Mungai. If you have any question, you could plug into our social media handle or comment, that which is Spice FM. KE on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I was asking uh, Gatewood before mm -hmm. we went on a break mm -hmm. for the gentlemen that we say, Wanapenda kujitumikia. I'm a kuchapa ngoma I don't know how we can say there uh, because of the hours <laughs> I'm going to try yes. and code it. Mm -hmm. uh, does that affect their relationship? Um, or actually their intimacy or their way to Mombasa Raha? Do you think it, because some people say uh, they're trying to relieve themselves to get more energy to continue their Mombasa Raha race. Well, some people feel like, hey, it's a no-no. It reduces whatever uh, your action going forward. Wow. Okay. So, <laughs> let me try and answer this. Um, first of all, um, there was a time I used to say there are no benefit whatsoever. Ya kujipigiangoma. <clears throat> yes. Uh, until I came across the research and uh, it's supposed to be healthier to men who are over 60 and there's no sexual activity in their lives. It's healthier for men over 60. Mm -hmm. And there's absolutely no sexual... They don't have a partner. Yeah, okay. Okay, then it becomes healthier. For it them. reduces the chances of that particular man getting prostate cancer. Okay. But for younger boys, 20 and below, wale wanajipigi angoma, it increases their chances of getting prostate cancer when they grow older. Okay. You see, one side it helps, the other side it... It doesn't. But let's talk about couples. And the ones in the middle. The ones in the middle. And uh, mm. uh, it's, uh, it's um, what can I say? Some women will feel like this guy is cheating on me. It feels like yes. he's cheating on me. And uh, other men with premature ejaculation, yes. they're encouraged to do that just before. Yeah. Same, same story about the refractory. Because mm -hmm. when they finish in like a minute, then they are able to last longer with the partners. Yes, yeah, people. there are people who give those excuses. Okay, exactly. they're not excuses, but mm -hmm. yeah, there are people who say that. No, for somebody, they, I've actually given this as therapy to help men with premature ejaculation. There's yes. some men who have a serious case of premature ejaculation. Okay. So, uh, but I say on your own, it's not fun. Make it as part of the foreplay with your partner there. I'm really big on games yes. with, for couples. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not saying you do this with your next door neighbor, Eric, <laughs> Emmanuel. I didn't say that. I hope you're hearing me. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> yes. But with, with your, your partner. partner. Yes. Instead of you in front of your partner, you know, you do it as part of the 
uh, of the for, for foreplay. Play. Mm. Okay, but for the other men, um, it actually messes up their relationship because they learn too well how to do it right for themselves. The, their partner is not able to take them to that level. Yes. Mm. Now, when it comes to women, it's a whole new, it's a whole different thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. For women, uh, those are year. Um, toys had hit the market in yeah. a huge way. Mm -hmm. Majority of the women were addicted. Yeah. And a man can't do zip for them. Because yeah. these things come with energizer battery. Bwana anakuja hapo na kitumbo yake amekunywa mbili tatu hajakula vizuri hayes make. So that energizer ndio inaweza wake. Exactly. Those are big big problem. Mm -hmm. But for me I think we can do without it. Do you think you can lose your your sorry no it's your turn Eric. Do you think you can lose your woman to this gadget? Yeah. People mm. have lost their women to those gadgets. Bzzz. Some don't have to make that kind of noise. Yeah, some, <laughs> some are, are silencers. Really quiet. I mean, they're really silent. Yeah. Those yeah. are the old ones are 1990. <laughs> and imagine their designer. Mm. Mm. Uh, a couple of years ago, I used to exhibit in SA. Mm -hmm. You know, they have a sex pole. Mm -hmm. You know, they, we have showground here. Yes. Uh -huh. On the other side, they have a sex pole. So we used to go every year to exhibit. And I used to, sh to share a stand with a friend to mm. come down on coast. And she was selling those mm -hmm. kind of things. Mm. And there, the culture is a little bit open. And couples will come to buy. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, they'll end up not buying because they don't agree on which one. They've agreed at home when they were coming, they'll in, 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 in introduce a toy into their bedroom mm -hmm. life. Then but the when they get there, the she wants the one. big one. Oh. Their <laughs> husband wants the teeny tiny one. They end up living without buying. Mm, you know? Exactly. So even here, a woman who's been using that for a while, at some point, no man can do anything for them. The toy can do better. Always. Would you encourage uh, couples? They are safer. They are safer mm. accessories. I don't mm. like calling them toys. Yes. I even brought one. Mm. Oh, those are, are accessories. Yes. They are safer accessories where it's not an organ. Avoid an organ shape where you can use it uh, for solo momba saraha. Okay. There are some for duo. Like mm. one of my favorites called a Wee Vibe. You know, a woman can use it on her own. A man can't. But the two of them, they can scream in their mother tongue. Okay. Both of them. Wee Vibe. Eh? Yes. And they cannot. <laughs> yes, I am. And imagine they are like smartphones. Kilasa in a kuja, a new version. Ah, <laughs> you can't okay. keep up. You can't keep up. That's amazing. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, so Gertrude, in the beginning, we were telling guys to ask questions. Mm -hmm. And the questions are so many. So, as we go oh, along, boy. before we start talking about this, mm -hmm. there's a question from a gentleman called Graham. He's asking, does the amount of sperm reduce as the rounds advances? Yes. But coupled with my question, because I need to give you a chance to talk about these wonderful gadgets, mm -hmm. how important is grooming by men for women in the bedroom? Do women care that you smell clean or good, for instance, and that you don't say some tidy briefs, uh, that you don't have holes uh, in them? Because I feel like a lot of men are very ignorant mm -hmm. about uh, grooming. Mm -hmm. And they feel like they can just come with their beards and uh, maybe not so brushed teeth. Mm -hmm. uh, and from don't the even forest take a shower. And not take a shower. And then mm -hmm. they pounce on you. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted your, to pick your mind about the importance of for, for grooming mm -hmm. uh, for women by men. And also coupled up with Graham's question about the reduction of uh, sperm. As yes, yes. Person. As the round goes, yes, it reduces. The first round, of course, uh, ejaculation, the, it will be a lot more. As you go for the second one, it will reduce. At some point, it will just be a few drops. Mm. Okay. Now, for mm. grooming, that is where so many go wrong. Mm. You know, enough is enough, guys. I mean... Uh, by the time a man stinks, you wonder what's going on. Mm -hmm. For us women, there's a, when there's a smell happening, there's a discharge, we understand. But for you men to smell, please tile up. We, we are tired of getting foot and mouth disease from you guys. Mm. So if you can clean up, it will be better for everyone. And it's not just taking a shower. It is the oral hygiene, mm. you know. It is the um, um, just showing up to bed looking good even if it's just in your boxers mm. you know but looking clean mm -hmm. it is the shaving you know yes. of underarms by the time you raise up your you show me your armpit and there's a rim of um a golden hair tie and uh, dye that is i mean you there's no way you can go grow gold on your body that is hair <laughs> which has expired get rid of it <laughs> you know and even some men believe they can't a man can't shave be 
under the chain. Mm. You know, you yeah. share from here upwards. No, we'd like it once in a while for Dream. you to fear at the Karura forest. Yes. It will be more enjoyable. We, Because, you know, every woman loves speaking French to their men. I hope I'm, okay, you know, yes. most women yes. do. Uh, by the time I'm coming to speak French to you and um, you're, Tying a ponytail down there, or there's a bit of Karura forest happening. I don't want in the morning say hi to my friends and this teeth. <laughs> the teeth, like, I mean, hair mm. on the teeth. Mm. That is so grooming is important. Mm. Every woman, mm. grooming is important. Mm. Yes, okay. all righty. We're having an amazing conversation right here in studio. And uh, Gertrude, one of my questions will be because I'm seeing time is flying. Um, maybe you can just touch on it before it gets to nine o'clock. The, the best ways for a man to initiate? Mm, best ways, definitely not kicking like a horse. Mm. And definitely, you can see Yeah, My God. <laughs> uh, really uh, every couple, I realize, they have their own way of initiating. Okay? But the best way will be a back rub. Start with a back rub. You know, take it a little lower and lower and lower. And uh, the way she responds, you'll know whether it's a no or yes. A mm -hmm. yes or no. Mm -hmm. Okay? If she gives you more room, lift up a little, you know, turn, yeah. come closer, you know you have a free pass. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. If she clinches, then you, you, you will know. Oh. But you can never go wrong with a massage. Never, ever. Because mm -hmm. this is how the bodies, or this is how our bodies work. Men, you're visual. You know, mm -hmm. for us women, we don't think about it. We're not preoccupied with Mombasa Raha thoughts. Mm. But when you touch the right way, we arise to the occasion. And most of the time we surpass it. 94.4 Spice FM, I don't want you to rush through that because that is a very, very amazing information. In fact, I just want my hands to be free so that I can type more notes here. Me and Dika notes. Me and Dika serious. Oh, na itaji kwa Dika. I, I, I. Kuna mtu nyumbani. We'll be back with more conversation right now. Sugar and spice and everything nice Sugar and spice up your life they are smart they are funny and unfailingly entertaining they are the adults in the room and they are here to help you be the best adult you can be whether it is matters of the heart finances or work that's weighing on your mind worry not the adults in the room will help you stay winning 94.4 Spice Ni FM, Nairobi. Spice FM, you've said it just right. We are the adults in the room. A big shout out to my Nairobi people. You know, my my people who, uh, and Nairobi actually includes Kitengela. You know, many people don't include Kite. <laughs> Kite is part of Nairobi. It's called Nairobi <laughs> and its environs. Yes, but uh, yeah. environs are squeezing you, going oh, forward. Oh, to eh? me upgrade? Since it's environment. <laughs> okay. I mean, since it's environment, since it's in Nairobi. Since it's Nairobi, if you yes. insist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I come from there, by the way. Uh, A shout out to yes, <laughs> yes, yes. We are Kitengela <laughs> crew right here mm -hmm. in studio, but our brother here lives in town. Uh, so uh, uh, one town. minute past uh, nine o'clock, and uh, you know the hashtag is adults in the room. We have this uh, living legend. Um, in studio for the next one hour, which is actually a privilege, but this hour is just moving too fast. Uh, we are, the, we are going to open the phone line zero seven one nine zero one two six hundred. Please call in and uh, talk to this lady who's uh, you know graced us with her time. Before we went to the break, I asked you um, about initiating, and mm -hmm. um, you're in the middle of it all. You're saying a massage is. Uh, one way. It's one of the best ways. Yes. Okay. And like I said, uh, we don't think about sex or Mombasara all the time, you know. But when you touch the right way, you arise to the occasion. That's why I always tell women, don't wait to feel like going to Mombasara for you to go to Mombasara. Mm. Okay. Otherwise, you will kill your partner with starvation. Because if you just wait, there's so many things we do, you know. And for us, something really, really small, it turns us off. Mm. Okay, so I always tell women to get into a routine, you know, just like the way you have uh, a morning routine or mm -hmm. beauty regime, have something in the evening when you come from work, you do whatever it is you need to do to relax you. Because for us, all we need to do is relax, 
then the feeling comes. Mm -hmm. And there are other things like uh, I have pheromone oils. When you smell it, it gives you a feel-good feeling. So it's easy for you to get turned on. And then the vaginal gym, which we're going to talk about a little later, mm -hmm. it helps you to revive and bring a blood flow to your genitals. So it's e you're easily aroused. Mm -hmm. But for you guys, all you need to do is to do a back rub. Like I said, give her a massage and to spice it up, give her a massage in different Mombasara position. Mm. Don't just lie there. Okay? If you like splits, splits is next time I will come in my right clothes and we can do demonstrations. Yes. This is an adult room. Yes. I love this space. Yes. yes. Anywho, so uh, you can imagine if you like the splits, you lie and open up your legs and that's how you get the massage. Mm. There's no woman who's not going to get turned on with that. Mm -hmm. If you like kuchuna mboga, that's doggy style. You chuna, kuna dog, uh, kuchuna mboga, a uh, dog in a rabbit. Mm -hmm. Okay, next time I will show the difference. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so the kuchuna mboga position, you place yourself in that position and then you get a massage you will definitely get turned on. So you place yourself in uh, in positions, in, yeah. in, in Mombasaraha Mombasara positions, positions yes. just for massage, for not massage. for the Mombasaraha, mm -mm. but for just massage. for the massage yeah. to get into the mood. Exactly. Yeah. And you know why I'm saying this? Because um, women, uh, men, uh, you can tell this guy is ready for Mombasaraha mm -hmm. because he has an erection. Mm -hmm. I call it Kuchemsha Mwogo. Mm -hmm. okay. And the lady is not okay. there. Okay. The, the ladies, we also... Chemsha muhogo, okay, as we don't have muhogo, so uh, they we're boiling our beans. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get another, a better name. Let's get <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, men have an erection, and you can see this guy has an erection, he's ready for penetration. We have the same, but it's not called an erection, it's called tenting, it's called vaginal tenting. Mm -hmm. The same, same thing happens, but so many people assume a woman is ready for penetration or for mbasaraha anytime. No, mm. so many things have to happen for her to enjoy and to be ready for Mombasaraha. You know, Gertrude, uh, uh, Emmanuel, can I ask real quick? Yeah. Uh, or do yeah. you want to? Yeah, yeah, you can ask. Can I ask the follow up for that? Like initiating, <laughs> initiating <laughs> okay, for, <laughs> like, uh, if a lady now wants to. No, I want to tell you that I'm going 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 to Eric, this uh, question is very important for us brothers. <laughs> Like, <laughs> you know that song I know that song, and I know, and I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> no, my question is: yes. uh, How about ladies now want to initiate? To initiate, because sometimes when I come to I want to initiate. So I'm telling you, you just want to sleep. Let me I'm tell you, initiate. it is so easy, and I'm so proud of that because we love you guys. You know, uh, not to be disrespectful, but you guys are simple. You have two heads. You have this head, head and, and then you have Mr. Victor head. Unfortunately, there's no blood, enough blood supply to the two heads at the same time. So when one head is working, the other one shuts down. You can always count on Mr. Victor head to, to say attention, no matter what. Mm -hmm. So, ladies, if you're listening to me and you have a problem getting this guy, you know, to go to Mombasara with you when you are in the mood and he's not, I'm telling you, we need to talk. Because when you get in the mood, he should never stand a chance. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Mm -hmm. Okay? For us, it's body massage. For you guys, it's toes. Do you know there's a muscle? From toes. the toe all the way to, to, to your Mr. Victor. Mm -hmm. You know? And so, it looks so innocent and unsexual. You know? You just ask him to take his feet, put them on your lap, massage, kiss, touch, his feet minutes, better be clean. Check, yeah, the foot and mouth, this is <laughs> manenos, eh? Yes. Yeah, in a few minutes, I'm a chem shamu hogo. Interesting. One Very of the tips. We learn you know? something new every, every day. Yeah? Yes, yeah. or you just wait for him if he's deep asleep. You know, just touch, rub, get on top of him. You <laughs> get on <laughs> top <laughs> of him. <laughs> ah, come on. I'm yet to, to, to hear a woman has been chased out of her home because she initiated or waited for the guy to, to sleep, get on top of him, and by the time I came to the house, I'm going to go to I'm yet to Mi, hear. Iyo pati ya kuamshu wa mtu <laughs> Apendi, aki, aki apendi. kula muogo. <laughs> apendi. <laughs> Inaeza kuwa godu ya kuniamshu. You see? Hapo tu kwa muogo umeniamshu. <laughs> na shtuka gafla binvu muogo yangu iku kila bali. <laughs> Inaeza kwa kitu ya. You can be fully awake. Eh. Check him in hey! awake. <laughs> yani tuko kwa muogo. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, my question. <laughs> my question is, uh, yes. you know, most of my friends and uh, a bunch really, 
uh, when we hang out and we start to talk about sex, they seem to be a pertinent uh, and very persistent complaint mm -hmm. from my male friends. Mm -hmm. So a lot of them say that, you know, I just began dating, let's call her Agnes. Mm. And, you know, she's pretty and very intelligent. But mm. we went to Mombasaraha. Mm -hmm. And as she was removing her clothes, the room, the arufu ilibadilika yeah. kwa nyumba. Yeah. And uh, another one would say, oh, you know, I was trying to French, whatever. Mm. And uh, I almost vomited in my mouth. Sasa intense. And then they say that these women are completely oblivious because mm. they assume that maybe it was just first time, second time would be better. And it's just there, mm -hmm. fifth time until they can't get it anymore. So the question I have, is it the food that causes the hef? Mm -hmm. Or is it maybe a way to clean up? Hmm. Okay. Um, it's a bit, a little bit of both. Mm. Okay. Um, Miss Victoria smelling. Yes. I should cancel that. Miss Victoria, uh, bad smell from Miss Victoria. Yes. It could be because of food. We are what we eat. And mm -hmm. different foods give a woman a very bad smell. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Foods like uh, red meat, fish, uh, spicy food like uh, ginger garlic, Chinese food because of soy sauce, and um, Indian food because of the spices. Again, same as coastal food. And um, I'm a coastarian mm. and um, I'm a mijikenda to be precise. Mm -hmm. And mijikendas are known for shark. I personally love shark. I shark stinks like rotten fish. Mm -hmm. So mm. anytime I would eat shark, the smell is not going to be very appealing. Oh, it but goes that's down. Okay. Yes. Oh. You are what you, whatever you put, wine, beer, yeah. you know, if you smoke cigarettes, coffee make you smell very bad. But I'm not saying this for somebody sitting there listening or watching and thinking, no, I'm not going to eat those kind of food. Cabbage. Many women think if you eat cabbage, it will make you you'll be dripping wet. No, no, no. no. If you eat cabbage, it will make you stink. But for, I mean, Kenyans are really, really blessed with different kind of foods, organic mm. or mm. otherwise. Eat whatever it is you need to eat. It's the cleaning which should happen in More a better regular, way. Yes. yes. And if even the cleaning, if you overclean, because Miss Victoria has good and ba ba bad bacteria. Yes. If you overclean, you kill the good bacteria or create an, an imbalance, then you expose yourself to all sorts of a uh, fungal and bacterial infection, not mm. uh, STDs or STIs, mm. you know, I can have vaginitis, vaginosis, yeah. you know, yeast, thrush, you know, those kind of things. So, uh, food, yes, contributes, mm. and then cleaning also contributes. Uh, what men also don't realize, you said your friends, this is the first time they're going to Mombasara with these women, and this is how they smell. Sometimes it could be what has been deposited before you didn't clean properly. Mm. And if he's not observing good diet, then he passes it on you. When it stays in there, it's clean as long as it stays in there. When it comes out, comes into contact with air, it stinks really bad. So what do we do about it? Can I give my sisters advice on how yes. to clean so mm. they don't mm. smell? Mm. Water is your best friend. Water alone. Unless you have a good vaginal wash, which is pH balance, good brand. Mm. Then you can use that. If you don't, just use water alone. Mm. And then there are creams. Like I have one I didn't carry today. Mm. It's called Aruba. Aruba is an intimate gel. Mm. Now Aruba helps uh, with, the, with the smell. Mm -hmm. You mm. just apply and uh, it's gets rid of the smell. Mm -hmm. So you can eat whatever you need. That's why for me, I eat anything. And if, if I know, and you can smell, you know. In fact, a yeah. man should not tell you you're smelling. You, you as a woman should them. know. And one of the best habits you can do is uh, every time when you go to shower, remove your underwear and smell it. Yes. Mm. Before and after. Mm. After, before, of course, you'll not see the big difference. But after you have showered, smell it, then you'll know. Like I know when I'm coming down with an infection, Way before it hits. Mm. So you, you, you get rid of it. And sometimes I'm thinking, am I coming down with that infection because it's a little bit off? But it's because of what I have eaten. Mm. I use my aruba just before I leave. Mm. And then I use it in the evening. And that smell never comes. Mm -hmm. oh. You know, so you're smelling good throughout. And the beauty also, in a So oh. it's good mm. stuff. I have a follow-up question <laughs> what Eric is asking. There are certain foods, quote-unquote, that have uh, women tend to eat. Mm -hmm. Like I've had some friends say they really nibble on pineapples. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm allergic to pineapples. So they always tell me, yes, I always hear them say they need to eat to smell better or yes. taste better. Is, are those theories true? Because there are certain foods I've seen people, you go, you're having a sit-down and you can see on women's plates, mm -hmm. specifically, they are stuck on eating certain things. Mm -hmm. Are those theories true it's or they are true. more meats? Especially pineapple. 
pineapple is true. In fact, I teach women how to make different recipes with pineapple, like pineapple tea, mm -hmm. you know. Tea? And, oh. Yes, there's, I mean, pineapple tea is really good. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and fresh pineapple, you even use the peels, mm -hmm. okay? And mm -hmm. not the processed juice or the quenchers, no. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the real fruit. The fruit itself. Yes, yeah, so pineapple is good, it's true. Uh, celery yeah. and citric fruits. Mm -hmm. The um, oranges, fruit, oranges, mm -hmm. limes, minola, mm -hmm. pixies, all those orange family mm -hmm. is also good for the smell, you know. Okay. And um, celery, yes. if you can just boil water, slice celery because not so many people like to eat celery, yes. just keep drinking or lemon water or slices of orange, put it in your water and drink. That gives you a very good smell. My pineapple is top on the list. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. And then the, does showering just prior to Mombasarai mm -hmm. help? I once fought with. Uh, lady I was uh, getting to try to be in a relationship with. Mm -hmm. uh, I was much younger, maybe 22. Mm -hmm. And then I got home, we were from dancing, and then I nika fungua bafu wide. Then mm -hmm. nika fungua maji. Uh, just to send a message. Nika mbia tuinge tu wake. Then she said, no, I don't shower at night. So Ui. I told her, no, no, no. Uh, maji ni moto. Na bado waku waga. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so your relationship yet will be shared for. <laughs> so, 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 does maybe showering before Mombasaraha help? Just with the smell? Yeah. No, just the body odor. It will do nothing for Miss Victoria. Mm. You remember when you're smelling, it's not like you're dirty. It is that scent. It's the uh. scent. Mm. You can't uh, water can't wash it off. In fact, uh, many doctors say use water. You know, because they are afraid so many people have used so many things yeah. like the soap for the face, mm -hmm. people are using bar soaps yeah. and stuff like that. Hey. So that actually harms Miss Victoria. Mm -hmm. Okay. So many people would say use water alone. Water is good, but it will not get rid of the smell. Mm -hmm. It will oh. never, especially if you've eaten something to make you, to give you that smell, it will, ne water will never get rid of Final it. Final question on this smell thing. Mm -hmm. Now, I like you, we gel, but you smell like a dead mongoose. How do I <laughs> communicate that? Hmm. <laughs> It's very difficult conversation. It is as difficult you? as yeah. when a man thinks he's done it for you and he didn't. Mm. Yes. Same so. awkwardness. It's hard unless mm. you're in a um, uh, long-term relationship, you're open, mm. you have this thing of let's tell each other the truth. Mm. Is one of the hardest conversations you can ever have. 94.4 Spice FM, we are the adults in the room. And sometimes as the guy on the chair, I just decide uh, to choose a song. Choose for us, And today darling. I've chosen this song in honor of the conversation that we're having right now in the studio. Shabba! Shabba! <laughs> Shabba! After, after this conversation, man, one feels like uh, you know, Mr. I, Loverman. <laughs> you know, I used Why to... Are you <laughs> Because you think you have tips. Yeah, but you know, I used to watch Mr. Shabaman yes. and uh, really gyrate <laughs> my tiny waist. Me, I'm telling you, after today, my game Mr. is going to be high. Shaba, <laughs> Mr. Loverman, give it to me. Mr. Loverman, is that you shaking Shabba. your waist like that? Shaba, the kalabini kalata, the kali kali, the bala kala. Yeah, your mother didn't find you. Oh, Take it away, no, lale, wait, wait. She'd have beat me up, but Shaba taught me a few things, uh -huh. and then I once went to the Kinyozi to tell him to try and cut my hair like that. Check you, where's your kayu? This is your shaba. Yeah, David, you. 19 minutes past 9 o'clock. We're in studio with your favorite people, Barbara Eric, with myself, Emmanuel. And we have a special guest in the building. Getrude Mugai is here in the flesh. We're so honored to have you. Thank you. Thank Thank you for me. We are honored to have you uh, with us today. And um, before we pick up phone calls, 0719012600, mm -hmm. um, I hope we, like we've talked about so many things, I don't even know where to start. Um, there's something that you have. I'd like yes. you to share more about I, I talked about accessories. Yes. And, um, people, if you've taken your relationship to a different level, mm. just uh, hold on. Please plug in Stream Live. This is Triple W Spice FM. CEO dot ke so that you can see some of these things that she's carried her, her accessories. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm all about uh, so duo duo Mombasa Raha not solo. Yes. So uh, if you've taken your relationship to a different level, like I said, and you've discussed it, you don't want him to be lying there um, before he realizes the things hanging on his Mr. Victor. Mm. You can be sent back to your pastor, mm. if not to your mother. <laughs> so this is one of my favorite things. Um, it's a ring. You know, it's a ring and it also has a pleasure knob massager. Mm -hmm. Pleasure knob is the clit. Yeah. So he puts it here and see it can expand. Nobody has something as big as that. You want to mm -hmm. hold it up? Okay. 
uh, yes, he puts it like there it. and you see it has a battery you switch it on oh. so he turns into the vibrator Hey. And it goes in, so you're both stimulated. Mm. You oh, know? so the Maybe you rubber the stimulate him? Y- yes, because it shakes him, and he's inside you. Mm. You know. Now, if he decides to be using this thing every day and we forget about life, what happens? No, 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 no. You see, uh, <laughs> just this to spice is up your life. it looks like a prawn when on the you're outside. On a proper date. You see, I mm. always tell couples to go on a date night yes. at least once a month. Life is too fast and we have so many things we are doing. Yeah. We hardly have time to chill. Just husband and wife. Mm-hmm. No kids, no bills, no in-laws, no work. Just so every couple should spend, should set aside one day in a month. Just yeah. one. Then you can do all these things. Yes. yes. Yeah. So this is one of the things I would recommend. Mm-hmm. And uh, these are the gyms, like I was telling you. These are Benoit balls. They are metallic. See? That's a Benoit ball. Mm-hmm. Okay, metallic. And these are geisha balls, uh, duotone balls, vibron balls. So you use these one to exercise so to get the best Miss Victoria in town. In mm. fact, that's one of the best ways to spice it up. <clears throat> to make sure you have the best Miss Victoria in town. Uh, tight with good elasticity, warm, wetter, and um, mm. very... You insert that on Miss Victoria? Yes. And it won't exercise. disappear? Mm. No, Miss Victoria is not open-ended. I talk as a Oh, <laughs> it will get lo- no, you know. It will come down. down. It will come it down. Will come a, down. It will come You're down. You're sure it's yes. not a health. The problem with the Benoit balls, you have to fish it out. But these ones, uh, there's a loop to pull it out. Oh, okay. Mm. Yes. And then, um, but the it will come out. It will come out. It the will, other way, and I put no, you in a program. A I, I put you in a program. It's not like uh, you'll just put it there and you don't know what to do. Oh, okay. Anybody who buys, I put them in our three week program. I work with them, and then by the time it's the third week, they're okay to do it on their own. And how much is it? Uh, this is just two five. Okay. And uh, they are on sale. Actually, I have. Can, s- can someone see them on your Instagram? Page? Yes, uh, they can see them on my Instagram page. They can come to the shop. I'll most of the time I'm there to explain. Where is the shop? On Kenyatta Avenue, mm-hmm. Pioneer Kenyatta Avenue, next to I N M building. Mm-hmm. Former your offices. Yes. Third yeah. floor, room three thirteen eight. It is a shop. Mm. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, and then this is smooth gel. It's a lubricant. Now, mm-hmm. remember when I was saying you have, you need to learn how to have different forms of sex. Yes. And uh, the first one is the, there's no match of foreplay, mm. and as long as there's no foreplay, the woman doesn't have her own uh, lubrication. lubrication. Yeah. So using a personal lubricant from a tub. It's not a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Many people mm-hmm. don't. In fact, every time, I'm a brand ambassador for this product. Every time I tell people to use smooth gel, they're like, no, me, I'm naturally weight. There's no woman who is naturally weight throughout. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because when you're breastfeeding, you dry up. Yes. After the first time you go to Mombasara, after you've had your periods, you're dry. Yes. When you're on um, cough syrups, antihistamines, you'll be dry. Even antibiotics. You will be dry. Yeah. Mm. You know, so you need this. Otherwise, uh, you will insist on going to Mombasara and you'll be too dry for you to enjoy. By morning, we see you with a walking style and thinking uh, what's going on. Get so, a question on that, on yes. smooth gel. Yes. A lot of uh, men have the habit mm. to employ a lot of saliva. Mm. <laughs> is that uh, <laughs> is that advisable? Because no. tons of guys do yes. that. Yeah. How will you feel if we spit on you? Mm. Please, give Miss Victoria the respect she deserves. Mm. Yes. No more spitting. And ladies, let me tell you something. If you don't use a lubricant mm. and you know you're dry, he will spit on you, yes. whether directly or indirectly. Yes. Okay? Directly is when they... Now, akupake. Indirectly, <laughs> and Ajifanya is kissing you, speaking French, you know, ame kutemea, mate kutemea. No, 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 no. Mate is never sex and can even give you an infection. Yes. Yeah? So, I'll rather you use water. But water is not heavy enough. So, you'll have to drive. use water all the time. Mm. But smooth gel is your best. And this is a Kenyan product by a Kenyan mm. doctor. Mm-hmm. You know, even uh, the president recognized him the last public holiday. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, the same, same doctor was coming up with a, a gel called Unipro which is supposed to be good for uh, prevent HIV and um, as a contraceptive. Mm-hmm. This is his first product. Mm. Oh. Could you lift it up? Uh, okay. St- yes. Exactly. Yeah. Kenyan. Um, By Kenya. Kenya. Promote Kenyan. Exactly. Mm. WHO accredited. It can be sold anywhere in the world. How much is uh, it? It's only 250. Really? Anybody and you want to spit on women Imagine. for 200 bob? Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Gentlemen, can we up our game this year? Exactly. 2020. <laughs> 250. Na mate hiyo imenishika. Exactly. Eh and it's mm-hmm. mm-hmm. cold. And the minute you apply bus, I call it Mombasa raha nyue. Mm. Yes. Assured. Mm-hmm. Any other questions? Spice FM, hello. Hello. Sasa Lilian. Oh, so, sorry sana talk to us. Okay, I have two questions for Gertrude. Yes. Hello, Gertrude. How Hi, are you? Hi, Lilian. How are you? I'm good. Yes. My first question. Yes. Uh, I'm uh, my knees Victoria is very tight. Okay. Na kuna wale ume. Mhm. Watu they want like wanakunyonga. Wanakunyonga kwa ko? Yeah, then they tell you if they do that huko chini kuna funguka. Woi. Then mm-hmm. the second question. Mhm. The second question uh, when uh, your mambasara. Mhm. They tend to uh, unapata tu mtu anazimia. Miss Mr. Vista is uh, anazimia huko ndani ya <laughs> Miss Victoria. Hapo tu ndani. Anakufia huko. <laughs> Anakufia huko then. Mhm. When you ask her, uh, these are maybe nimefanyika for three consecutive times. Mm-hmm. When uh, ukimuuliza kuelezi vizuri. Mm-hmm. So can can it be a tio mtu ndiye akona shida na wewe Mr. Victor wake ama I'm the person who is maybe Siti una shida hata mimi si Gertrude hauna shida. Basi lakini tunachia Gertrude. Sasa wewe umeua Mr. Vita kakufa kifo huko ndani. Sasa mimi ndio nashangaa then tutaku nitajaribu. Is looking at the scolding eye like I'm the one maybe nimemdunga mahali kazima then he starts like fighting me back. Tuko na majamaa wawili hapa pia tutawaambia wapeane maoni yao. Ah wacha sasa waongee leo Eric na Manuel na I want Eric ameuliza maswali mingi It was the 20 kids kama hajafanya practice leo maswali mingi tunamchongea mchongea 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 Eric ambao Ah ah hapana itabidi sasa hizo maswali zote kana mtu Emmanuel naulizi kuzirai Uh, Lillian, yes. I'm sure you've uh, jolted uh, down some notes in yes. regard to the questions mm-hmm. she's asked, which are very pertinent questions. Yes, yeah. Uh, 94.4 Spice FM, remember, it is now your time. Remember, you are an adult in the room, and that means you have to call in. What are we discussing, Barbara? We are discussing about ways, a moment. Ways to uh, improve your sex life. Ways to improve your sex life. And our guest today is Gertrude Mungai. In fact, uh, we have a minute, Gertrude. Do you just want to start off on uh, answering Lillian yes. before we, we yes. take a moment? Yes. Okay, Lillian started by saying uh, Hamis Victoria is very tight. Mm. And um, uh, the guy feels like they have to choke her in order. If you choke a woman, it opens up. That's a very big lie. Yeah. It's a very, very big lie. And let me explain first of all uh, there's no Miss Victoria which is too tight unless you have uh, a condition called vaginismus <coughs> or yeah actually has it will be vaginismus and it will be more painful than tight mm-hmm. you know and uh, a bad case of vagin- vaginismus is where you can't even have gynecological examination mm. you know get you I don't even want you to rush I just want you to take your time triple w spicefm.co.ke we are here with a living legend getrude mungai who's answering all your questions 94.4 spice fm nairobi Today we're talking about what Barbara ways to improve your sex life all right you so could call in that is 0719012600 and if you ab- if you're not able to call you could also spy uh chime in on today's conversation through all social media handles that is spicefmke on instagram and twitter get it please just answer for us Lillian's question yes so she said um she's very tight her miss Victoria is very tight and uh the partner feels like they have to choke her in order to open her up there is absolutely no connection Okay. Uh, let's talk about tightness of Miss Victoria. Uh, we talked about the vaginal gym to give you the best Miss Victoria in town. 
uh, for it gives it makes you tight with good elasticity. Yes. That is what Lillian is lacking. Yes. She is tight but doesn't have good elasticity. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I said, unless she has this condition called vaginismus, where Miss Victoria opening is, does not open. Mm -hmm. Okay, and a bad case of vaginismus, even gynecological exp examination. And uh, some women, it just doesn't open. And the more the guy pushes, the more pain. But she didn't talk about pain, mm -hmm. you know. So, what I'm suspecting is, uh, the guy is forcing penetration with a foreplay. Yes, like I said, there's an equivalent of erection uh, to a woman, which is vaginal tenting. Yes. How does vaginal tenting happen? If you follow the four the phases of lovemaking, okay? They, remember when I said uh, women go through four phases, men go up to a fifth one. Uh, so if the foreplay has not been done, Miss Victoria looks like a collapsed balloon. Yes. Okay? Nyama juu ya kwanya, akuna nafasi. It's just like a collapsed balloon. balloon. Yes. But if you do foreplay, you first of all go through something called pretenting. Pretenting is when Miss Victoria starts to open up, mm -hmm. you know, and then it starts to swell up. Yes. While it's swelling up, the uterus ascends. And Miss Victoria, the, the vagina is a canal it becomes longer and it balloons up so mm -hmm. it's ready for penetration mm -hmm. and it wets up you naturally know? naturally yes. Na only no even if your vaginal muscles have collapsed you have the worst and you're making the quiffing sound or the farts uh, it's got nothing to do with that. If foreplay has been done very well, you open up, you erect just like the way men do, mm -hmm. only that ours is called vaginal tenting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because yes. uh, I, I don't think there's any woman who is bigger for any Mr. Victor. Yes. We give birth. Have yes, you seen that's a true. baby? Yes. A second after Have you seen dropped? some of those heads? Exactly. Where did yes. they come from? Mm -hmm. So there's absolutely no Mr. Victor out there which is much bigger. Mm. The only problem is we are not prepared. There's no foreplay mm -hmm. to allow the natural process of tenting to happen for yes. the man to penetrate. They keep, you see, if it's this close, they keep um, bumping and bumping and raising, you know. Mm -hmm. So the minute they keep, so that's why so many times, uh, if you have you've not had foreplay, the first penetration is painful. It's like you've been grazed, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then slowly it turns up. Even if it doesn't fully tend, it allows the way for Mr. Victor to go in. So that's the first answer I would give to Lillian. And no choking. Unless, uh, whoever it is, Lillian, this could go wrong. We don't want you passing out. So just tell him, instead of choking you, to kiss you everywhere, including down south. How about yes. choking as a, f a fetish? As a BDS. fetish, that's different. Yeah. Okay. That is different. If your thing is choking, please it's don't a, do it Eric's in the name thing. of getting you to open your Miss Victoria. It's Eric's thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, Eric, <laughs> but plus, plus standing around. <laughs> But Eric, okay. he, he, so you know he's in retirement. He's in but retirement. He used to be a whips guy. A whips <laughs> guy, <laughs> those things are for him. I'll bring your set. It has Get rid of the menunulia man with pingu mingi. Unajua pingu na binders. Tablet ya next time. Emmanuel ame chapwa sana kwa katika hali ya mapenzi. Ha, usimpatia whip. Usimpatia. Kuna hiyo, kuna tikla. Squeezy ni mapenzi buwana. Usimpatia whip, patia tikla ida inamchekerenya kidogo. Umesikia hiyo? Kuna tikla. Umeandika notes. But anapenda uchungu. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> There's one question yes. that Lillian asked that we've, we've not yes, answered. Yes, yes. And she said it, Mr. Victor dies inside Mr. Victor. Ana so, um, zimia. Ana zimia. So, I don't know. She didn't say the guy ejaculates. So, I'm assuming he just went lost. The, he lost the erection. Yes. yes. It's got nothing to do with you, Lillian. Yes. The guy has problems. If he doesn't open up to say what it is, then there's nothing you can do for that particular guy. Mm. Okay? When the man loses his erection inside the woman... It's not the woman's fault. Yes. Mm. Okay. There's a friend of mine, Gertrude, once who uh, uh, met this woman mm -hmm. who was very big on being spanked so much mm. that my friend dislocated his arm. Because <laughs> 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 had So, Is it wrestling? so uh, are these just fetishes or do they have any effect on Mamba uh, Saraha? Like if somebody beats you harder, would you maybe uh -uh. be too excited? I, 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 that's like, <laughs> I, I don't like, those are fetishes, you know, mm. just like the way people love golden showers yeah. to be peed on. Those are just preferences for people mm. and not everybody likes that. Mm. Okay. So before you go on peeing on somebody or beat somebody up, you better make sure you're on the same uh, yeah. page. Yeah. 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 Those are special people. By see, he likes that. Maybe that's what, 
uh, has to be done to him before he gets turned yeah. on. No, she wanted to be spanked hard. Sasa alitoa coffee binguni. Alafu ikaland na ika dislocate mko na I'm picking up all your phone calls. I hope we are, we've Yes, we've answered again. Lillian's questions. 0719012600. We get you this here for 24 minutes. You have to take advantage. Let's talk to Lona. Hello Lona. Yes. Hi Lona. I'm doing great. Is it a wonder or a This is <laughs> and, Wow. I think it will be so silent because maybe Eric has been asking so many questions. Uh, <laughs> Eric, <I'm laughs> <in> <laughs> Eric, <laughs> Eric is the, he's the mentor. Eric, you know, 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 you and your sasa nikienda nipate mtu nita perform. <laughs> At least utakuwa zero. Yeah, Sini, but that's it, nice. Nafanya assignment but yangu hapa. Hope, hope, hope I won't get you because I think I'm more tougher anyway. Get rid. Uh, are you, I have a are question. Are you saying um, you're thinking about Eric? <laughs> yes, indirectly. I, I just realized. You up my I'm, I'm not thinking about Eric, but he's single. Well, I mean, I'm single. I can ask one question. <laughs> <laughs> Lona, 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 we've seen what you've done there. Yes. So yes, do you have a question Lona. for our guest? Yeah, I have a question. Yes, please. And maybe it is something that I've gotten by to one of them. We are saying uh-huh. it's good to be hygienic. Uh-huh. And other thing, you realize that maybe down there, Mrs. Victoria, a cocaine. Shaved, mm-hmm. but all of a sudden, maybe a guy tells you, mm-hmm. Ati, in an indunga, maybe with uh, that sharp, maybe ume, with the, the remaining, maybe some uh, pubic hair, mm-hmm. and he complains all through. Mm-hmm. How can I help that guy? Because I'm wondering, will I go back to that guy again? But it's not me, maybe I've got it from somewhere else. Mm-hmm. But I'm wondering, is it, is it okay or he has a problem? So he's complaining that uh, unamdungo kuna nyuele mingi? Yeah, no or really, maybe mm. na umenyoa. Hakuna kitu? Hakuna kitu. Mm. Pegine uko dry and a mistake na kudungwa. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Mm. The spikes. The spikes. Because after you, I think she's talking about after someone has shaved their hair. Mm-hmm. There's a stage, if, especially if you shave, depending on what you're using. Mm-hmm. There are ladies during the growth. Mm-hmm. It's a bit hard. So that particular gentleman or man is saying, uh, "Nadungwa." <laughs> Love it. Hmm. Because pubic hair is not like hair on the head. It's yes. always softer. For some okay, people. So what I would say. Uh, she should change her, the way of her hair removal. Yes. If she's using a shaver, maybe she should move to creams. Mm-hmm. If she's using creams, she should try waxing. You can never go wrong with wax. If you can yeah. stand the pain, for me, when it comes to anything, it's waxing. If you wax, and even when it's growing, it's softer. Yes. Yeah. And then the other thing you can do to prevent the bumpiness when the hair grows, immediately, you see, women, we don't use aftershave. Yes. Men know. You shave, you use an Doctor aftershave. Shave. Women don't. So Aruba also acts as a very good aftershave. The Aruba gel. The Aruba, Aruba gel. gel. Mm-hmm. Yes. Next time I'll come with it. How much is the Aruba gel? Only 350. <clears throat> eh? So after you have shaved, just massage with Aruba every single day until when the hair grows and uh, it will not be as tough. It's as Aruba gel or Aruba oil? Aruba gel. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Let's pick another phone call. Uh, this one will be a good one. Leonida. Yeah. Abari yako umepotea sasa leo umerudi. Yes. Karibu. Mami how are you? Yapotea sana. I mean I missed you. Have you no, been? Nakati napiga simu. Mm. Napata laini imejaa kuja. Mm. Nafungiwa inje. Pole. Pole. But I'm happy today. Uh, today I have decided to reach. Mm-hmm. Yes. And communicate with you. Mm-hmm. We are always happy when you call. What are your thoughts? Emmanuel. What are, what are, yes, I'm talking to you. Uni Emmanuel. Ah. Uni Emmanuel. I'm talking to Salami Eric. Salami Eric. Eric, you need me. We don't need any more questions. Unless you have any knowledge, I'm asking you. Apa na apa? Do you have relationship? I'm talking about an idea, my idea. Hmm. In fact, you can't say any knowledge. You can't say any kunyonga. Hmm. Unajua kunasamle di. Hmm. Yarahati cost to this man. Hmm. 
Now also men, mm. they don't massage these ladies for them to react quickly. Mm -hmm. So they use that force instead of massaging them so that they may come to that reaction. Mm -hmm. And then kuna hii ya kufaint, hii ya kutumia hii. When the lady, mm -hmm. you know the man, mm -hmm. when it reaches the maximum, mm -hmm. the, that is the chorus. Mm -hmm. They really enjoy the set. Mm -hmm. And at that time, they use a lot of force. When the lady makes the man hang, that's where uh, that problem comes. So she needs also to assist, to assist, to assist, to assist the man so that he may fulfill that sex matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, akimuachilia unaweza pata some ladies wanaomaliza mapema and then huyu mwanamume sasa vile anafika kora sasa ile utamu. Unajua tena kuna fika wa pahali unapata anapata utamu sasa inatakala tu msaidi. Sasa ukimuachilia anapata amehang. Unamsaidia. Una Nenida huu mtu flana collapse. Anazimia <laughs> zima kosa <laughs> mrengo. <laughs> How I wish ningekuwa hapo ningekuonyesha na Eric. <laughs> oh, ungemtumia Eric kama demonstration. Hi <laughs> Eric, no yeah. feel you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have uh -huh. a special relationship. Yeah. Usikia niwaambie jamani. Uh -huh. Unaona when the man anaendelea kusikia hiyo utamu, mhm. Mm Yapa pia na wewe umwasisi. Unajua hii game ni kuleta nipe, leta nipe. Sasa ikiwa ni anakuletea na weo humupi. Tutatumia ito ya, ya, ya Gertrude. Eh? eh? Ito inaona tutatumia ni mzuri. <laughs> Dena sema. Leonida, thank you so much Asante for calling sana. Leonida. Eric Maze, you on fire. <laughs> Eric, you on fire. Yeah, yeah, tuse, unajua Leonida ni From vihiga. Kiambu all the way to Vihiga. vihiga. Okay. Utasimama you know, uh, nini? This, I'm very concerned about these choking manenos. Eh? Mm. Think about dangerous. it, guys. Because to me, everything has to make sense. Yeah. Don't just listen to what people say and decide this is what works. Mm. Uh, when somebody chokes you, do you relax your body? Because penetration and whatever is about relaxation. Yes. Mm. You understand? So if somebody chokes you, you clinch and you tense up. So that's why she's no even tighter. Way. Yes. There's no way he's going to have a free pass yeah. or to penetrate better. Mm. Okay, so let's stop choking unless you're doing it as a game mm. not to get her to wet up and to... No, mm. let's not do that. This is what you're doing. Very only that is that she's going to kill you. So be ready to be choked. She sounds like she's a choker. I'm going to kill you. Ametoa tahadhari. Anasema angekuwa hapa mimi leo ningeonyesha example at least I would want you to see. 0719012600 is the number to call. Remember we are here until the top of the hour 10 o'clock. And you can also continue sending your questions on Facebook, Instagram and also Spice FM on Twitter. Remember the hashtag dance in the room for whichever question you may have for Gertrude. She is right here. Looking forward to answer just your question. Mm, and do you have any action on Twitter that when we come back you're gonna check out? There is quite a bit on Twitter. Actually, Twitter is on fire, Gertrude. <laughs> also, Facebook back, is on fire. Yes, oh. yes. There is so so much from Elder Age. And you don't have Instagram? Today, I'm an Instagram girl. You go Instagram. Uh, I'll let me appear. check for you. Okay. Instagram, I think that's the same. You, you, you can, can also follow me on Instagram, Gertrude Mungai. Instagram, yeah. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Instagram. And I have a cloth line for the ladies. If you like something sexy and sensual, mm. like our um, Duchess here, mm -hmm. yes. you know, she's a full body woman. Yes. I would so love you look so good in my Deralicious cloth line. I am mm. So mm. please check I them out. I am going online right now. It's a sensual, transparent. Yeah, funiki kila kitu wazi wazi tu. I'm hey. telling you, Jahim <laughs> with his I need one, jam. not one. I need like five. <laughs> Jahim with his hit jam. Fabulous. Bringing us to 45 minutes past nine o'clock. Time is flying. It is flying today because we are the having Bukusu. a very good time in the studio. We'll be back for more conversation right after this. You know, when you when you just check out stories uh, of where people came from, Barbara, you know that Jahim started singing at family reunions. Yes. And local talent shows, man. Who knew that he'll be playing in a country called uh, Kenya? And now he's playing global. Let's not your Kenya. You have a problem, you bukusu man. <laughs> we are discussing ways to improve your sex life, and we have Gertrude Mongai as one of our special, uh, our special guests. Not one, 
But our special guest, yes. the number to call is 0719012600. to We are picking calls till now, till 10 o'clock. Gertrude, also, as you've been hearing, I've been making a plea for questions to come, and there are tons of them. Mm -hmm. But I think because you'd answered one from a gentleman, there's a lady from Eldred, her name is Benedict. She says, a question to you, mm -hmm. what can a lady do or how can a lady show or tell a man that foreplay is what brings a lady to the mood more. I think she's just regurgitating the question I'd asked earlier mm -hmm. about having difficult conversations mm -hmm. around uh, smells and things you don't quite enjoy. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's a tricky balance. If I'm being honest, mm -hmm. I've been once in a situation where I was not pleased about something very intimate. Mm -hmm. And it was very hard. So I just ghosted the person. Mm -hmm. I just went vamoosed and, and disappeared. Uh, disappeared. I hope you know that's bad man, not? Uh, yes, but uh, as you are also confirming, it's very, it, should you should you maybe write a note and, or maybe buy smooth gel and say, <laughs> babe, you know, there's this amazing thing I had on Spice FM. You could try, mm -hmm. maybe. Yes, you could. Or you could pin it on a bridal shower you went for and this is what people are saying. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. You know, because there are only like two ways to introduce something so intimate into your bedroom, mm -hmm. especially if you, you've been together for a while. Mm -hmm. Either you search in a forum, learned something new and brought it to your bedroom. Yes. Or you slept to somebody else, picked a new technique yes. and introduced it to your bedroom. So I'd rather you tell them. Pin it on something. Mm. But um, um, if uh, it's hard to tell the person, uh, do it to him or for mm. him. Mm -hmm. Like I would say, um, I have a DVD, which is 19 ways on how to touch, mm -hmm. how to give a hand job. You know, mm -hmm. it's a hand job DVD. Yes. I wanted to make peace because I had stopped giving people tips on how to give oral sex yes. or blowjobs. Because many single women think it's safe. And it's not. The only thing you can get it from your mouth is um, pregnancy. Otherwise, all the diseases. STDs you, you can get in your mouth. All of them, including yeast and thrush, you can get it in your yeah, mouth. I knew you could get gonorrhea from your throat. Actually, throat Even gonorrhea. Even cancer. Even cancer. Cancer. The human papilloma virus can be introduced to your Jesus throat. Jesus Christ. So when you're using a condom, mm. you're preventing so many other things, not just pregnancy. So I don't see anybody using the mouth with a condom. Yes, mm. you know. So I stopped, and then I did the DVD. I'm saying the hand can even do it better. Mm. You know, 19 ways on how you can really give him a, a hand job until mm. So uh, do it, give it to him, and then let him come up with an alternative. You know, same same thing. Like the contractor <clears throat> said, tell him you want this, and when you put it down, somebody mm. what you are not able to verbalize, you write it down, and in a sort in some sort of a game, maybe. And if anybody who cares about you mm. and they want to improve your relationship, this should not be a big deal. Yes, I'll be very concerned at somebody who doesn't want to hear anything suggest because men become good lovers to women when they take instructions. Don't assume this body is like the one you are touching before. Mm. Women respond to different things. Mm -hmm. Unless I tell you what I like, you'll be busy doing the wrong thing to the right person or the right thing to the wrong person. Mm. Yes. So you have to listen. Men, if you want to be a good lover, you have to listen to what your woman has to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So na sema ataongea kikwao. Ataongea kikwao. Ni wewe utaongea. Cheki na mali na mali re e atawe atawe. Ho ho ras. Emmanuel Onjera Onjera. Ito simu Onjera. Ah Oh my goodness. Hey. Yeah. 0719012600. Let's speak a phone call. Spice FM. Hello. 07. Hello. Hi. Hi. Who are we talking to? What's your name and where you're calling from? Ni <laughs> 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 It gets me irritated sana. Wona sikia vibaya. 
Yaani hata tukifika kwa bed ili tufanye kitu yani nimpatie saa haki yake wo na siku wangi niko kwa mood. Mm. Adia, okay, sasa, nikuulize? Eh? Um, mm. mumeoana ndoa ama nikamwiste? Tumeoana hata tuko na watoto. Na unampenda kabisa? Ya, yeah, nampenda. Hakuna shida yote kati ya wewe na yeye. Hakuna, but sasa yeye kenye wewe na nibona, ananibona yeye akirudi, anasema tu akiniona na feel tuko kwa sexy ndio kenye wana niambia tu fast mm-hmm. sasa wewe na na ni bow okay hmm okay. i can go ahead and answer it yes, yes wow i mean <laughs> she should take that as a compliment so many other women would love that mm-hmm. okay so i'm i'm trying to understand her najaribu kukuelewa mrembo Um, kawaida sana wanawake wengi bwana yao wakiwambia nikikuona na jisikia kufanya mapenzi na wewe wanafurahi mm. maana wanawake wengi wanalalamika kuwa bwana zao hawawapenda hawa they don't desire them they don't okay? look at us twice exactly hasa mimi najaribu kufikiria pengine na kitu ambacho wamesema uh, nampatia haki yake so uh, anafikiria Momba Saraha ni ya Bwana. Mm-hmm. Yeye hajawahi kuenjoy na kusikia utamu wa Momba Saraha. Yes. Kila akienda Momba Saraha anamfanyia Bwana. Kwa hivyo yeye nifanya kama ni kazi. Mm-hmm. Na wengine wetu hata tunaf- tunafanya kazi ofisini na atupendi kazi zetu. Mm-hmm. Hasa kitu cha kwanza ningependa kukwambia mrembo uache kufikiria Momba Saraha ni kazi. Okay? Na tulipoanza hii kipindi nilisema wanawake wanatakana kufanya aina tatu za Momba Saraha kufanya saa zile kujisikia wafanyia bwana peke yake kufanya saa zile wajisikia wewe mwenyewe hasa vitu ambavyo ningependa unini uh, ufanye ili upate kuwa mood mwambie hiyo massage ndo hata kama amependa amekupenda na amesema uh, wakati mkienda kwa kwa bedroom akushikeshike kidogo lakini huyu bwana inakaa anampenda mkewe hata pigida na shikashika ni bibi mwenyewe sasa kama hamu kuna wanawake wengine wako na a high case of low libido mm-hmm. you know the libido as in it's not even low it's dead mm-hmm. and she could be one of them now the vaginal gyms is one of the things she can use mm-hmm. because ina muongezea nyege kutoka huku chini okay eh ata bwana kimshika kidogo anajisikia hamu alafu i want us to have maybe another show of uh, things women can eat they can do uh, for a period of time to revive you know the yeah. yes not just when you see when we, when we started we said we talked about uh, ground nuts yes okay there are type of nuts which will make it as part of your <clears throat> diet, diet. Mm-hmm. see it's not a one off you know i've come up because this is very very common i have a coffee you know and it's called mojo aphrodisiac mojo xxl coffee, mocha coffee mm-hmm. that one a man drinks he's gonna stay on for 72 hours those are three days We need a weekend for that. How will he go to work? Friday, <laughs> I'm telling you, you should see the kind of people who come there to just buy coffee every Friday. Every Friday. It is our best selling product on Friday. Mm-hmm. But for women, it's not the coffee is good, you know, but for women I've come up with something for them to do like a whole month to see if their system is going to reset and maybe she's one of them. Oh, so she needs a reset on the mind change of everything. Yes. Ketrid, I just want to say thank you for making time to come through and I'm, as you've said I'm sure you're going to be back again and again and again. Eric, you want to appreciate the guest and Bob. Yeah. Oh, totally Ketrid. First and foremost, good to see you in person. Nice uh, to meet I'll you. Now I'll be showing my neighbors pictures of us together. <laughs> be like, "Kuna jua? Ketrid alikuwa amekaa hapa." Na mimi hapa. <laughs> and kapata mawaidha. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and thank you so much for making the time. Thank you for having me. I've had fun. I've never had a first time before and this has gone very well. <laughs> Today. <laughs> Absolutely. So we look forward to another session with you. Asante yeah. sana. Asante. I've uh, jotted me. down a bunch of notes and I think I'll study them. And uh, in the tentative shows that we're going to have mm-hmm. uh, Majaliwa, mm-hmm. we are going to spruce up and hopefully become better. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For me, th- thank you for showing up and for coming through for us. I have learned a lot. I'm very sure 2020, uh, <laughs> I'll be spicing up <laughs> if, someone, if not myself. If you've missed the conversation, you can check it out on the YouTube page. Uh, I think from tomorrow, Brian Amliotti is going to be working on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the last word uh, for this evening that you want to share with people? 
Um, I, I'm telling you, ladies, uh, 2020 ni mwaka wa mapenzi. So this is what I'm suggesting. Let the men bring their confidence. Let's bring on our confidence. Yes. So confidence... Plus yes, confidence. confidence. I'm telling you, Mombasaraha, first mm. class. Yeah. Eric, I'm so sorry that you cannot use this information. <laughs> <laughs> As we've discovered, uh, you can be a mentor. But uh, <laughs> thank you for the questions you've asked. I'm going to use this information. <laughs> me too, me too, me too, Eric. Time it up. Well, me vuka pak. Uyo me vuka. Apondo una mocha kihang. Get what you said on Instagram, your. Uh, get what mungai on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and Twitter. And uh, for the ladies who love to look hot and sexy, have a cloth line. It's called Dera Lisha. Dera Lisha. D H E. On Instagram. On Instagram. All right. Yes. Uh, so see you there, guys. Yeah, see you <laughs> hard there. If you want to reach out to her, just uh, DM her. And uh, just continue the conversation. Thank you so much, everyone who's called in, everyone who's tweeted on behalf of everyone right here in the studio. We just want to say thank you because there's no us without you. So we appreciate you. Tomorrow we're going to be here same time, same place from 7 o'clock all the way to 10 o'clock. But music all night long. 94.4 Spice FM. Nairobi.